The National Secretary of the Pan Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Fere Yinkao Dumakin, has said the killers of the daughter of the leader of the group, Pa Ruben Fasoranti, Mrs. Funke Olakumri, have been arrested. Olakumri was allegedly killed by bandits on Oresha Gamu Expressway July last year. In a statement by Odumaki on Monday, the alleged killers were said to have been arrested by the men of the Special anti robbery Squad of the Ondo State Police Command. Odumaki, who said the suspects were arrested in Ondo State, also disclosed that the driver of the deceased had also been arrested. Now spokesperson for Afeni Fere Group, Yinka Odumaki, joins us live via phone from Ondo State. Good morning, Odumaki, and thank you for joining us. Good morning. And congratulations to your TV station to vote on uh, DSTV. Thank you very much for the congratulations. Well received. Yeah. Now, you were quoted to have said police have arrested the killers of Pa Ruben Fasoranti's daughter. Please, you want to clarify and throw more light into this? Well, we thank God Almighty, who did not allow this matter to be closed as our own result of murders. Uh, we are not happy with the police in the last nine months. In fact, the Ondo State Police Command has refused to brief this old man once. But we thank God that on Saturday, the SAS in Ondo State, Special Anti-Robbery Squad, not the regular police, came to brief our leader about the arrest of the four suspects who have made statements to them. Our fashion who has not slept well in the last nine months, according to the family, has started sleeping like a baby. After the SARS came to inform me that they have arrested these uh, suspects. And uh, it's a good thing because the, since she was murdered, quite a lot of Nigerians across the board have expressed worry about how such a lady will be killed in broad daylight on the streets. And the matter was just brought to closure that way. But we thank God that now that the suspects have been taken by SARS, we comment the Air Force officers who made the arrest, and uh, the candle which we brief our leader, which has now made him to return to normalcy. We are waiting for the them. We will allow them to do their job without any interference. We will not make any comment or statement beyond what I have said until they conclude their investigations so that they, they are not distracted. But we are feeling that the diligent way that has led to this arrest to go through the investigations and that will lead to successful to, to, to prosecution of the suspects. But now, as we speak yeah. today, yes. that is the situation. And we are glad to inform all Nigerians that uh, though it was a painful thing that this lady was killed the way she was killed, it was much more painful for us if they had just come another, another all these murders. But nine months after, the suspect and the next. Now, nine months after you did say, I would like to ask, why, why do you think it took the police this long to arrest the, the killers? Oh, well, uh, telling at, at this stage now, what we'll be asking for is for them to do a thorough investigation of those they have apprehended and do a diligence prosecution. Uh, you know, this is a country where how many years ago did the, did the attorney general of the country feel like he was murdered in his house? Is there anybody, has anybody been frustrated since 2003? So, I'm trying to one. So, that they are taking, a, taking this suspect in nine months with some improvements on uh, his death since 2001. That it takes nobody's on trial. Right. It's a challenge to criminal justice ambition in our country. For us, really, we are about losing confidence in the police on this. I spoke with the IG, spoke with everybody that the police on this matter. But the efforts of the South have rekindled our hope that our police can do their job and we commend South officers in those states who have done this. All right, y Yinka, do we, have any, do we have any statement or confession yet from these um, this, this murders, this, the suspect that have been arrested? Oh, there are misstatements to the police. Okay. And from what we understand, the driver who drove her, the day she was killed, 
uh, has already been taken in by the by the by the police, probably also on on on, on the secret divorce from the suspects. But like I said, we do not want to interfere with the day-to-day -day investigation. We want them to do their jobs with free minds, come to their conclusions, have their reports. That's when we are going to make and then when and I charge the court, them to court. Then we'll be able to make a statement for so for now we we are just full of commendations for those who have made the arrest, and we hope that the investigation process will also follow the pattern of the diligence that has led to this arrest. All right, and on part, let's look at Pa Ruben. What, what is his general disposition to this, knowing this arrest has been made? What, what, what um, any, any state of mind, any state of being for him currently? Oh, I took Papa. Papa has been in serious pains for the past nine months. The family said at night he sleeps, he wakes up, he, sleeps, he, he regular sleeps for the past nine months. But since he was briefed on Saturday, they, that they have a apparently suspects, they said Papa has been sleeping like his baby. When I, when I spoke with him yesterday, I saw it in voice. The world is, I know, of course, are arresting the culprits, even and making them to face judgment, finding them guilty, and will bring the data back. But at least there will be some closure for him. And he has felt much, much better because he has, every time I spoke with him since this thing happened, was what kind of country is this? That my daughter will be killed on the streets and nobody from the police will listen to me. One month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, eight months, but like nine months now. And you know, for a, for a regular pregnancy, when you must be pregnant, on the ninth month, she delivered. So I think on the ninth month, we have also come to this point. All right, Yika, just before I let you go, then this is off um, the, 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 the case at hand. It's about the COVID-19 and the general disposition of the people and residents and indigents of Ondo State. How are they faring and taking um, the outbreak of COVID-19? Well, I think that uh, our people have been uh, very, very careful. But when from from Ibadan to or the ocean to one of those states, it's, the whole street had, had deserted. Without any, any federal government imposing a lockdown on any soldiers flogging all over the place. And which compound what they say police command uh, functioner was saying on some television last week that really uh, people have been very, very commendable. They have conducted themselves. They, have, they really have to obey instructions. Even in rural places, people are aware of what to do. And they are keeping distance. They are even staying indoor. You, you, you find very few cars on the road. And I wish continue that, uh, I think. And what are people, security forces, who are beating all over the place? It's frustration we need at this point. We know that this is not difficult for people. This is the poorest country on earth. And for this one to have them stay at home, men who depend on daily uh, living in British and Lagos, there are people who don't have homes. Don't so say that you have to work from home. They have no homes. They recommend that people and pray that this will go on on time. So that their sufferings will not be too long. All right, Yingo Dumaki, our very, very spokesperson. Thank you for joining us on the news and for your contribution. My pleasure.